Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Tonight I'm going to be making an instant pot tuna noodle casserole. Now, I know a lot of people grew up with this type of dinner. Um, this isn't something my mom really made or my grandma or my aunt, any of the people that did a lot of cooking in my life. Um, but it was something that I was recently talking about with somebody and I wanted to try it. Now, I know a lot of the recipes call for like... Uh, cream of condensed soup, which I don't usually buy, um, but I did come across a recipe that I'll link down below that doesn't use that. It uses cream and it uses um, chicken stock. So I have 12 ounces of egg noodles. I have two cans of tuna. I'm going to be using a package of frozen peas. And then in here, I had to make some chicken stock. So I had water and I put the saute function on just to melt some um, chicken bouillon in here. So this is all set to go. And then you're just going to dump the noodles. Hang on. All right, so then I'm just going to dump the noodles in here. Okay. And I'm going to put the two cans of tuna on top. And then to that, I'm not going to mix it in. I'm just going to leave it as is because you want the new, oh, that's four cups of stock, 32 ounces or one box. I'm going to put a little garlic and a little onion powder. And then I'm going to cook this on high pressure for four minutes. And that's it. Super easy. We're going to cook that for four minutes. And then I will do a quick release, pull it all out. Then I'll add the cream to it. I'm going to add the peas to it and the cheese and let it sit. So it'll be a little watery at first. The longer it sits, the more the noodles will absorb all that broth and cream and flavor and it'll thicken up. Now I know a lot of people like um, or don't like certain things in the Instant Pot because they don't come out brown or um, toasted. And I know some people like their tuna noodle casserole with some breadcrumbs on top. So of course you could take this and put it in a baking dish and put some breadcrumbs or whatever on top and put it under the broiler really quick. All right, so take off the lid. I'm just gonna pop that right to the side. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna put a half cup of cream. And I got two cups of cheddar. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'll put in the peas. Uh, my peas are already defrosted, so I don't want them to get mushy. And then you're just going to mix this up. Oh my god, doesn't that look good? So I'm just going to let this sit for a little while. If I need to add a little more cream, I will. I'm going to add the peas right before I serve it. Add salt and pepper to taste. If you want some more garlic powder or onion powder, that's up to you. I think I'm going to add just a little more. Right, and I will put a, a plated picture of what this looks like once I get the peas in there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!